I am. I am recording. Um, okay, so I went to yard sale, spent 30 bucks on records. And he actually was more reasonable than I thought. At first he was like, well, most records are 250 Some will be uh, less, some will be more. I'm like, oh, okay, right. But then when I picked him out, he just gave them to me for a little more than a dollar a piece because I was taking ones with... Uh, he was a DJ, so the records were in good, like, really nice and clean and good condition. But the covers are... Co some of the... They had water damage. Some of the covers were fucked. Um, but I'll go... Th I'll look at them. For what I paid, I'm fine. And I'll just... I'm probably going to put these on whatnot because there's nothing so great here for flea markets. It's going to be people who want the actual music. I got a... He had a couple of Saturday Night Fevers. He had a bunch of Donna Summers. And someone was asking for Donna Summer yesterday. Or we sold some Donna Summer, so I figured I'd just buy the Donna Summers. We could probably get like five a piece for these and whatnot. Here's just Phil Collins, no uh, jacket required. This is, I would pay a dollar for this anytime, it doesn't matter. Um, Eartha Kid, I figured I'd try because she's jazzy, she's very unique. I'll, I might even look these up to see if they have any value, although I doubt they do. Here's some more Donna Summer. Look at her, she's. Oh, I used to have that album. Yeah, that's pretty Back cool. Back in the day. And look, I got two of them. Mm. Oh, and look, I got another Saturday Night Fever, more Donna Summer. But then I got other stuff too. Uh, more Donna Summer, more Donna Summer. Uh, more Donna Summer. I guess I got a lot of Donna Summer. Uh, the Romantics. Anybody remember the Romantics? I uh, hear the secrets that you keep. Boom, 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 boom. When you're wrong, whatever. Um, the Cars, Greatest Hits. That should be five and up. Anything Eric Clapton, I would buy. Lover Boy. And this one actually is probably the the best because the cover's going to run. Emerson, Lake, and Powell? I thought it was Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I guess they needed a new P. For ELP. They really had all this ELP merchandise and their logo was ELP. So do you remember Buster Point Point uh Poindexter? Poindexter? Poindexter. Buster Poindexter? Hot hot hot. He used to be in a band called the New York Dolls. He was like punk. Buster Poindexter. She's the one that's saying hot 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 stray cats. They had these guys were kind of rockabilly. That's what I can remember. Oh look, I got a uh, Hall and Oates greatest hits. Uh, Asia. Uh, and here's where I got some where the covers were like total shit. Uh, but the records are good. Go-Go's. Uh, Def Leppard. Oh, it looks like they got wet and Make stuck Jerry, together. Yeah, they got wet and stuck together. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Ah, it's a single, son of a bitch. Whatever. And the Kinks. I like the Kinks. We had the Kinks yesterday, but maybe I can double this out the other one. And here, you can see like all the records are like in this condition. Because the guy was a DJ and he needed his records to be nice and clean. He didn't fuck around with them. So there you go. Nice, 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 nice baby. All right, um, we're going to a couple more sales. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll get something, uh, something else. Okay, uh, I just spent 30 bucks. So I actually spent 30 and 30 at both sales. I bought this uh, Animal Classics made by these guys, whoever they are. And just a big polar bear. I paid 15 and I think I'm gonna, I, I, I think it's up for like 100. Here. I know. Uh, and you could, I bought this uh, egg. Everything was 30, so this was five. This is kind of cool, it's Royal Dalton, and it has, I thought it was Shakespeare, but uh, can't figure out who it is, but it's got an old mark, chip, kind of a crack going on otherwise it's in pretty good condition it's um, antique it's antique for sure so they only she only charged me five on that then i got these two fenton bells this one says bringing in the 20th century year 2000 and it's got a building on it not really sure what it is i'll figure it out later and it's just another fenton bell it has butterfly on the top uh and that was five so that's like 15 20 25 30 bucks and she threw in the, uh, the egg trying real hard not to go anywhere near the horn because yeah. I don't know if it's like I slightly touched it. I don't know. I think there's it might be a fuse that's weird and if you go over a bump or something or or whatever because before it was like you when you were turning it it was like maybe something reset. So anyway uh, we're headed home. We went to three cells not the fourth because all of a sudden the car starts the car horn started going off non-stop. At first I thought I pressed the horn but I yeah. didn't. Yep. At first you did. You're like, I didn't even press it. You yeah, know? I told you I didn't. I knew I didn't press the horn. Yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe I did it by accident. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, then it just wouldn't stop. 
you know, and we're I'm I'm like walking into house sales and I I didn't really hear them complaining about like what's with the horn, you know, like when I went to the house sale. Well, they said I looked, I googled it. Yeah. And what did it say? And it said to to tap the horn and just turn the wheel. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now you know something you could do. Turn the wheel, tap the horn, but we can't. But I can't do that while on I'm the driving. highway. Yeah, yeah. Just tap the horn, turn the wheel. Then turn you know? line on East Avenue. Um, so maybe there's something electric with it. And I couldn't just let it run because it'll run out my battery. Oh, it will. Yeah, for sure. You know, you have to keep the car running if if it keeps going for too long. Um. So that's fun. But I guess what we're gonna do is. I'm gonna, yep, there it goes. Um, I guess what we're gonna do before, but it was like doing real, like if it just did that, you'd be okay. But it and would be like, just get aggravated yeah, but I mean, just but I didn't touch the horn. Yeah, if, if we pull out a light and I, we're behind somebody, starts going, ah, they'd be like, what the fuck, you know? So that's not gonna be good. Um, so we're just gonna call it, uh, go grab some food and and get this to the mechanic. And just like, come on, just what the hell's going on with this thing already, you know? Um, and uh, I don't think I did horrible. Like I said, the last, oh, the last, I didn't say it. The last cell I went to, we saw the pictures and they had a lot of nice QVC style jewelry. It was like in boxes. And, and all in boxes. Like, there are people that have this illness where they shop on, on the TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they never wear this stuff because it, it still had price tags and Too stuff much. on it. Everybody's and you were like, oh, man. I was like, no. Because if, if they already know. No, it's easy for them. What yeah. they want to charge for this stuff. Um, and it's, and I'm not. And if it's QVC... Yes. And I, I know the people that sell this, and they're always like that. They're just like... If it's QVC, there's a lot. You know, they sell thousands of pieces of the same they thing. They did. They did, for sure. So, so it's out there. Uh, you know, when you, go, when you go to put it online... Also, there's so much, like, QVC stuff on. Yeah. I feel like there might be... Because QVC is in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So maybe near the the place where they actually record the, the episodes or whatever, mm -hmm. there might be a QVC uh, outlet. A, an outlet, yes. Yeah. And okay. people in the area might go there and buy the stuff at the outlet for outlet prices. Outlet prices, and then put, it's just like because there's so much QVC stuff. Yes. Um, Going back decades. Yeah. And they've got the papers and they got the box. So that's why a lot of times if I find uh, certain things at yard sales, like sometimes like Joan Rivers stuff and things like that, you know, I think it's a good piece. And then I go online and, yeah. you know, people have the boxes and the paperwork and, and all that stuff. And I got nothing. Yeah. That's why you gotta like be careful what you pay. Well, I saw all the boxes and the table was full. I didn't see hardly any jewelry. Because, like I said, I saw things like eighty to eighty dollars, hundred dollars, sixty dollars, forty dollars, uh, and it was to me. I'd have to really check the prices in every single one. I ain't gonna do that, you know. Nah, it's too much work, too much trouble. And like I said, I went to the basement, and it was just a bunch of trains, and I was like, I don't. I've had that stuff. Um. Just hopefully, we'll, we'll just stop and get something to eat uh, if it starts acting up, you know. Like, uh, ho hopefully you just tap the they thing. They said there's something maybe in the steering column when I right. read. Yeah. Uh, like a short or something. Okay. Oh, then maybe that's the problem why the car, uh, stalls. You know? No, that makes sense, right? See, it's like stuttering now. Um, all right, well, may maybe we can figure it out. Because we thought it was a fuel line or something like that. But maybe there's a short or a problem in, in the steering column. Because that's where the ignition, uh, well, who knows? What do I know? <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, we're going to grab a bite. I'm going to go to the store. Probably going to buy some DVDs today. Really excited about no. that. No! Uh, they're for the flea market. They're all sealed, actually. And it's Dave. Dave needs money. All right, got to go. Bye. Dave. All right, guys, you're not going to be really excited about this. But for 60 bucks, I got an Atari flashback. This is probably worth 20 Maybe I'm probably gonna get twenty dollars. Maybe twenty. Maybe twenty-five. If I'm lucky. And I got a big old bag of DVDs. These are for the flea market. Um, they're actually sealed, and I actually could have gotten them for free if I were a dumpster diver. <laughs>
but I'm not. So I actually paid for them. I paid like 50 bucks. Um, but anyway, if you can, I think I'm going to set up and sell at North Bergen tomorrow. If you want to come by, stop uh, by, say hello, hang out, buy some stuff for me. That's where I'll be. And of course, the store will be open if you want to stop by there, buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks uh, for watching, everybody. Bye.